greeting children this is the second part of text based mcqs from the lesson indigo this is for class 12 cbse students those who have not seen the first part that is passage based or extract based subscribe the channel go watch and come back because passage based is more difficult than text based mcqs let us start who is the author louis fisher simple one where was the author born philadelphia when did the author serve in the british army this information you will get from the textbook look at the textbook here louis fisher 18 1960 born in philadelphia served as a volunteer in british army between 1980 1920 this is the information fisher made a career as a journalist and wrote the new york times the saturday review and for european and asian publications he was also a member of the faculty at a princeton university the following is an excerpt from his book the life of mahatma gandhi the book has been reviewed as one of the best books ever written on gandhi by times educational supplement come back to the question the answer here is 19 80 19 20 which university was author a member of princeton university indigo is an excerpt from which book of the author the life of mahatma gandhi what is the message conveyed in the lesson indigo efficient lawyers speak aloud voice and courageous leadership can resolve any problem this is the message through this lesson the writer tries to convey wise and courageous leadership can resolve any problem question number 7 why did mk gandhi fight in champaran look at the options to secure justice for the oppressed to get popularity never to show power never to boast of his intelligence never so the only one option that is suitable to secure justice for the oppressed question number 8 what does gandhi's fight in champaran signify the power of effective leadership maybe the power of lawyers no the power of farmers what does gandhi fight in champaran signify the power of money no the power of effective leadership not even the power of farmers the power of effective leadership question number 9 why was moti hari black with peasants because of people's rights not because of that because of the oppression of the british no because their champion was in trouble that is the right answer why was moti hari black with the peasants because of the tremendous demonstration of the peasants there because they came to know that their champion was in trouble how did gandhi address the actions of the people of moti hari as liberation from the fear of british yes calling them courageous no by calling the lawyers no none so the liberation from fear of the british that is gandhi addressed in moti hari question number 11 what was gandhi ji's demand from the british landlords what was gandhi ji's demand gandhi ji demanded for 50% refund as repayment look at the text in which it says look at here they thought he would demand a repayment in full of the money which they had illegally and deceitfully exacted from the share croppers 
he asked only 50% he asked only 50% this is the right answer so 50% is the right answer question number 12 how much did Gandhiji ask the indigo planters to pay to the farmers Gandhiji demanded 50% that is another way of asking the same question how much did Gandhiji ask this is what he asked for the first time but in the settlement it is another how much did indigo planters offer to pay they offered to pay only 25 percent look at the passage thinking probably that he would not give way the representatives of the planters offered it to refund to the extent of 25 percent 25 percent that is the offering look at the next question what was the condition of the sharecroppers we are forced to give 10% of land for indigo, not 10%, not 20%. We are forced to give 15% of land for indigo plantation. Look at this passage. Presently, the landlords learned that Germany had developed synthetic indigo. They thereupon obtained agreements from the sharecroppers to pay them compensation for being released from the 15% agreement so 15% is the answer there 15% look at the 15th question how did Gandhiji help persons of Champaran by fighting and securing justice for them by hiring lawyers for them no hiring of lawyers by educating them no by teaching them cleanliness yes he did it if it is a multiple choice complex question these options may be appear but out of these four options the most suitable one is the first one by fighting and securing justice for them that is the most prominent thing Gandhi did there come to the question number 16 what problems were faced by the Chambaran indigo sharecroppers problems poverty Forced to grow indigo, yes, unable to raise voice, illiteracy. So what was the problem we faced by Chambaran? The lesson doesn't say anything about poverty or unable to raise voice or illiteracy. We are forced to grow indigo is the right option. Question number 17. Why did Gandhiji decide to go to Muzaffarpur? Enroute to Chambaran to have a detailed information of the sharecroppers of Chambaran. This is the reason. Look at the other one to have information about lawyers, not about lawyers, to know different capacities of the people, no, to have a personal bond with the people, no. So, the right answer is to have a detailed information of the sharecroppers of Chambaran. Who briefed Gandhiji at Musafarpur? Government officers? No. Politicians? No. Look at this passage. Gandhi decided to go first to Musafarpur, which was en route to Champaran, to obtain more complete information about conditions that Shukla was capable of imparting. He accordingly sent a telegram to Professor J.B. Kribalani of Arts College in Musafarpur, whom he had seen at Tagore Shanti Nagedan School. The train arrived at midnight, 15 April 1917. Kribalani was waiting at the station with a large body of students. Gandhi stayed there for two days in the home of Professor Malkani, a teacher in a government school. It was an extraordinary thing in those days, Gandhi commanded, for a government professor to harbor a man like me. In smaller localities, the Indians were afraid to show sympathy for the advocates of home rule. Look at this. The news of Gandhi's advent and of the nature of his mission spread quickly through Musafarpur and to Chambaran. Sharecroppers from Chambaran began arriving on foot and by conveyance to see their champion. 
Muzaffarpur lawyers called on Gandhi to brief him. They frequently represented persons group in court. They told him about their cases and reported the size of their fee. Come to the question. So the question here is who briefed Gandhiji at Muzaffarpur? Not government officers, not politicians, not farmers, but the lawyers. Lawyers briefed the case to Gandhi. Question number 19. Who was Raj Kumar Shukla? Not a lawyer, not a government official, not a politician, a poor person. The same question is asked in the extract also. But their options are confusing. You have to check that one also. Question number 20. Where was the annual Congress party session held? Annual Congress session held. Varanasi, Mumbai, Bangalore, Lucknow. Where was it? Lucknow. Look at the passage. Look at this. He had gone to December 1916 annual convention of the Indian National Congress party in Lucknow. Lucknow is the answer. So come back to the question. Where was the annual Congress party session held? It was at Lucknow. Question number 21. Why did Raj Kumar Shukla come to Lucknow at the annual Congress party session? To be rich, to be famous, to fight, to fight and get money, to complain against the injustice of landlord system in Bihar. This is the right answer. Why did Mr. Shukla meet Gandhi? To seek his guidance for his own upliftment? No. To take him to Chambaran? Maybe. To complain Gandhi about the British rule? Not against the British rule. To seek his help for the poor sharecroppers? Look at that. These two options may be confusing for you. To take him to Chambaran? to seek his help for the poor sharecroppers. His first attempt was to seek his help for the poor sharecroppers. So that is the right option. Question number 23. Why is Chambaran famous? Famous for indigo. Simple question. Why was Satyagraha movement launched in Chambaran? For Gandhiji's upliftment? No. For raising funds? No. For getting business? No. For the upliftment of the farmers. Upliftment means development, overall development of the farmers. Question number 25. Where was Champaran? Champaran was a district in Bihar. Simple question. What did the peasants pay the British landlords? What did the peasants pay the British landlords? 15% of land holding and entire indigo harvest. This is what they did. Not a 10% or 20% or 10%. 15% of land holding and entire indigo harvest. These persons give to British landlords. Look at the next question. Why did the British want the persons to pay compensation? The question of compensation. Some persons had already paid compensation. For what? Because they freed them from sharecropping agreement. Yes, this is the right option. Because they got orders from the British headquarters. No, because of 15% land holding and entire indigo harvest. No, 15% of land holding and entire indigo harvest. They paid compensation only to free them from the old sharecropping accord or agreement. Come to the next question. Why did Gandhiji agree to the planter's offer of 25% refund to the farmers? When the planters offered 25% of refund, Gandhi agreed with them. Why? Because of money. Not because of money. Because of fear of laws. Not because of that. Because of fear of power. No. Because more than money, prestige of farmers was important. Because the British planters, they 
surrender their prestige before the poor illiterate persons of india gandhi gave importance to that so he agreed with that 25% refund agreement come to the next question question number 29 who was sir edmund in indigo sir edmund a british lawyer a british businessman a british politician an administrator in indian civil services look at the passage here in june gandhi was summoned to sir edward gate the lieutenant governor before he went he met so sir edward gate a lieutenant governor here an administrator in indian civil services is the right answer question number 30 where was sir edmund posted in east india in provincial in uttar pradesh in bihar and odisha province in bengal presidency of british india look at the next question what was the statement that gandhi read pleading himself guilty that he was a law breaker no that he wanted to command respect no he was not a law breaker and come to render humanitarian and national service this is the right option Why did Gandhi protest at Motihari Court House? To be famous? No. To show his power? To humiliate the British? To protest the court's order? To postpone the trial? This is for what Gandhi protested at Motihari Court when they postponed the trial. Look at this question. Why did Gandhi consider the Chambaran episode a turning point? It's a turning point in the freedom fight and in Gandhi's life. How? Its voice spread far and wide. As it became a widespread incident throughout or most part of India. and from different parts people come and join with gandhi for the upliftment of the chambaran villages so its voice spread far and wide let us check the other options it became famous yes it is famous not because of that the british is very scared not to protest the court's order to postpone the trial so the right option is its voice spread far and wide how did kasturba help gandhi ji by speaking to the people no by walking with him no by moving here and there no by teaching ashram rules and cleanliness this is how kasturba helped gandhi ji at chambaran by teaching ashram rules and cleanliness to the persons there Look at the next question, question number thirty-five. What was the attitude of the average Indian in smaller localities towards advocates of home rule? Very welcoming, no. Very courageous, no. Pleasing, very fearful and indifferent. Very fearful and indifferent attitude. Look at the next question. What was the purpose of the advocates of home rule? to get money no to be popular to instigate the people to encourage people to participate in the freedom movement this is the purpose of advocates of home rule to encourage people to participate in the freedom movement come to the next question what was the condition of the persons in chambaran very happy no independent very rich terror stricken and oppressed question number 8 whom did gandhi ji send a telegram to sir edmund no british government no persons professor kripalani he sent a telegram to professor kripalani informing him that he is coming to chambaran question number 39 where did gandhi ji stay for two days at a persons house at a lawyer's house 
in a guest house, Professor Malkani's house. He was a government teacher there. Why was the government baffled? Because of lawyer's power? No. Because of farmers? Maybe. Because of sharecroppers? Maybe. Because of the success of Satyagraha movement by peasants? Yes. Because of this Satyagraha movement, that is the right answer. This is the second part of MCQs of Indigo. One more video you can get for MCQs. If you don't subscribe the channel, subscribe and press the bell icon. Thank you.